fail today. News 13's Caitlin Jones joins us from the Web Center with the latest on today's special event. That's right. Apple lovers around the world are anxiously awaiting the live streaming event of the special keynote event. And when this screen turns into that streaming, Apple CEO team Tim Cook tweeted this just a few hours ago. He said just a few hours to go here in SF at San Francisco. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on and they're calling this event. Hey Siri. A hint, maybe? Well, Siri is in fact giving out hints right now. Apple actually updated Siri yesterday to respond in preparation to the keynote event. All you have to do is say, hey Siri, give me a hint. Well, here's a tip. Take pictures of friends holding things you've lent them so you'll remember down the road. Yeah, clever Siri. She's not giving anything away. But we have gotten some hints from MacRumors.com. They're giving us a closer look of what they think, and they're pretty credible about predicting this type of thing. Um, they're saying this is probably one of the biggest media events ever for Apple. And since they're expected to announce uh, several upgrades to several of their products, uh, maybe nothing groundbreaking, but a lot of updates here. We're looking at bigger than ever iPads, expected to be called the iPad Pro and maybe a demo of the iPhone 6s and possibly an upgrade to Apple TV that's expected and a look at the new iOS 9. Now the iPhone 6 is expected to look much like the 6 uh, the 6s is supposed to look much like the 6 but may feature a new force touch technology technology that's when you're a uh, you, when you push, push down, your phone can actually tell how hard you're pressing on the screen, and that helps it perform different functions based on that. And we'll have all the highlights from the Hey Siri event later on today in the Web Center. Caitlin Jones, News 13. There's a new controversy in connection with the Kentucky Court.